can have Patrick Houston here. Great Britain's oh, just walking the wrong way, just being ushered the, the correct way. An embarrassing start for Patrick there. Um, he was uh, shooting at the Rio Olympics for Great Britain. I think you're uh, supposed to be standing next to the judge, but never mind. Yeah. Hasn't quite grasped this. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> considering, he, like I say, he was in Rio, he should really know what he's supposed to be doing there, but um, the judge isn't, isn't correcting them. So we've got Valentin Ripau. Ripau. Ripau, yeah, something, yeah. Valentin Ripau from France. I think Patrick's a little disappointed that he's shooting in the in the bronze medal match. He he led all the way through um, this tournament, uh, winning qualification, winning both days, yeah. uh, winning the elimination rounds convincingly as well, um, and just fell slightly short in his semi final. His competitor shot excellent yes. in the semi final. Yeah. Um, good gesture from both of them, wishing each other good luck. Um, just before we start this match. So, 25 meters. That's the sun. <laughs> That's the sun. <laughs> it's shown, well, it's a little annoying um, for, for Patrick as uh, he is in the sun, whereas his French competitor is not. That will change into the other targets. But Patrick's one for the spotlight, isn't he? So... <laughs> Looking a little uncomfortable, Patrick? Yeah, the sun is going to be really annoying. You know, he could hope that the French competitor shoots his arrows quickly and then he can mm. step in his place. Yeah. Or he can just get on and shoot. So a five and a four to start for the Frenchman, Valentin. And Patrick opening arrow a five. That's an opportunity here to, to take the lead with a five. Naturally, a six will... Uh, would be better. We haven't seen any sixes from the recap so far, have we? No, I don't think so. And there it is, a six from Patrick. Good shooting. Oh no, we had um, one six. We've had a couple of sixes. We've had a couple of sixes. Yeah. Okay. And another six there from the from the Frenchman. Six five four. A nice little end there. John not in the background, just talking Patrick through his shot. Needs to be a bit quicker. And it's another six. Good shooting. Six, six, five. I don't think the, uh, the Frenchman would have expected to be losing by too much um, with a six, five, four. Um, but the fact is he's two points back after Patrick's perfect, well, near perfect start with a six, six, five. John Knott's coaching in the box there, really helping. John not trying to have a laugh there with Patrick, but uh, Patrick seems to be fairly focused on his task at hand. <laughs> Just adjusting their sights now for this 45 meter target. I think the biggest, um, well, I say the biggest issue that these guys will have on this on this target is is knowing where to put their sight. Like I say, we were talking earlier in regards to um, the the maths involved with uh, the the cut on this target so when you're shooting uphill or downhill you need to shoot less than the 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 distance of the of the target because of science as i mentioned earlier um, th these archers have to do some quick trigonometry in their uh, in their head to, to get their their sight mark correct whoever thought trigonometry was pointless in school was wrong <laughs> <laughs> Archers, field archers use this on a day-to-day -day basis, so Patrick's straight into it again. See if we can get this first one off fairly quickly. Put the pressure on the Frenchman. I always forget they have a little practice draw, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> but I'm naughty. I, um, I'm very good at maths, but yep. I, I just guess. You just I guess. I don't <laughs> work it out. <laughs> I'm very good at maths, but I just guess. Okay. <laughs> Was your guessing good this week, do you think? Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> Patrick's just 
Patrick has had his practice draw and has let loose with his first arrow, the second target, with a five. five. Yet to miss the gold, Patrick Houston. And a miss from the Frenchman, high. Did he add on, maybe? Oh. I mean, that. Because I heard that the Swedish girl, um, Ellen Katstrom, yep. who um, she missed high in the, the senior women's team yesterday. She added on instead of taking off uh, the car. Okay, that's, that's a mistake. Yeah. Uh, six. Well, p maybe he did. I mean, uh, like I say, he's followed followed that miss with a six. Potentially, he's, he just misset his sight. Um, his first arrow, like I say, the miss is in perfect line, and it didn't look like a bad shot either. Another five from Patrick. Great shooting. Like I say, yet to miss the gold with these five arrows, and it's not like they're easy targets. And time's running out there. Yeah. Three, twelve, ten seconds to get this arrow off. Needs needs it gone. And it's a four. Under <laughs> under some time pressure, and he shoots his first four of the match, but increases his lead by five points. Um, so he's seven it's points. Enough. Yeah, well, yeah, seven points lead going into the final two targets. That's seven points. That's what I'm saying, seven points. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Seven points, two targets. I can't even see Patrick dropping seven points in these two targets. So to stand any chance, really, the uh, the Frenchman's going to have to shoot six, well, yeah, six sixes, arguably. Which is quite doable on, is quite on a 15 doable. meter bunny. Yeah. It's that 60 meter that's going to be the difficult task, isn't it? Yeah. But, in all fairness, they, they d would both look exactly the same through the sight. I know it's a longer distance, but r ratio speaking, um, both targets are exactly the same. So, theoretically speaking, in the language of science, they should be as easy to shoot as each other, but they never it seem to be. It doesn't work out <laughs> like that. It doesn't work out like that, no. Looked like a fairly solid shot. Didn't look overly happy with it, though. Four for the Frenchman and a four for Patrick. Both high. Yeah, both high. Patrick's lost his gold rush. But all he has to do is shoot the same... Same score as the uh, the Frenchman, and he's won this bronze medal. <coughs> A good okay. six, inside out six, great shot. Five for Patrick. So Valentin's pulled one back. One of the seven that he needs to pull back leads down to six now for Patrick. Looks a little hunched in his technique, I think. Four or five? Five. five. Yeah, it is very uppy trappy. Uppy trappy. Okay. Is that a technical term? That is technical. <laughs> Patrick, not so uppy trappy. Looking solid. Nice six. Good finish. 15 all. Yeah, so uh, Valentin. Yeah, Valentin did pull a point back, but um, taken back by Patrick. On that final arrow, Patrick still needs to be directed about where to walk, where to stand. <laughs> 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 but maybe his mind's on his shooting, and that's fair enough. Has a seven-point lead going into the last target. Just one for the crowd, isn't he? Just uh, giving the crowd a little fist pump there. Yeah, we can get a lot of motivation from the crowd. Yeah, I think uh, European... Target champs earlier on in the year in Nottingham. He was one for uh, egging on the crowd to cheer him on. Yes, never seen that before. Never seen that I before. I didn't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> Were we commentating on that match together? Um, no, it was you and Chef, I think Chef, it was. Chef, yes, of course it was, yeah. So, um, yeah, in the middle of the match, while his arrows were being scored, he stood on the edge of the podium and shouted, Oggy, 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 and the, and the crowd shouted back. It was, it was quite interesting. Loves the pressure, loves the uh, loves the attention almost, not to belittle him, <laughs> but he does like it. Does like the yeah. attention. 
So 60 meters, 15 degrees up. Yeah. And Patrick has a seven point lead. No, eight point lead. Someone's arrow must have lead. changed. Yeah, it must have. I was going to say, six was definitely a six, wasn't it? Maybe someone's done some poor maths there. Oh. What happened? Um, the Pals' um, last arrow was demoted to a four instead of a five. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, both starting with a four. Low for Patrick, high for Valentin. Making an adjustment. Yeah. It only takes a small adjustment uh, to put yourself back in the middle here. You've got to shoot a good arrow on that first one, and then you know what to do with the sight. If it's yeah. a bad shot, then you're like, oh, was it me? Was it the sight? And was it a bit of both? Yeah, possibly an over adjustment for Valentin. He's gone low for now. I'm sure he'll be ruining that miss that he had on the 45 target. Solid enough. He doesn't need man many more points than fours to uh, to win this match. It wasn't the tightest shot I've seen Patrick shoot today, but no. a four will do. A four will do, indeed. Both at full draw with their final arrows now. Um, Patrick has already won this match. A three for Valentin to finish and a five. Good, good finish from Patrick with a five. Ah, bow aloft. Winning the bronze medal, Patrick. Congratulations to him. I'd say he arguably might be a little disappointed um, with the bronze medal, but um, I'd say all it takes is one match to lose and, and can put yourself.